<clears throat> hey guys, welcome to Moonlight Shadows. This is going to be a general reading for whoever is meant to watch this. These are general messages. Take what resonates. I'm using my new tarot deck. It's called In Between. And you guys have the Seven of Cups. Some of you guys have some type of spiritual guardian of some sort that will be revealing itself to you. It could be a gracious spirit, some type of a spirit guardian protector. With the blue light, you could literally be seeing the color blue, but I am seeing like a face in here. So I feel like something spiritual, someone from your spiritual team, some type of energy you're going to connect with that is going to bring you lots of happiness. I really do feel this could be a gracious spirit. Look at all of these angels, but it looks like they're coming down towards you. So these could be fallen angels. For some of you, it could very well be an archangel, but I'm getting more of a gracious spirit here. This is very beautiful energy. Just the way it looks, it's like, wow, like I really love the card. It's really good energy for you. With the Eight of Wands, it's like you guys are receiving messages from this particular feminine spirit. I just took a big deep breath. So you guys need to brace yourselves. Don't feel overwhelmed. Take one thing at a time. That is a message from whatever this energy is. They're trying to connect with you, but they want you to have faith. Lots of your messages are being given to you in your sleep, but now it's time for you to communicate when you're awake. This could also signify um, meditation. <clears throat> the element of fire is important, so you could have Aries, Leo, Sagittarius placements. I'm also getting an offering of water and incense and a candle. The five of cups. Some of you guys feel disconnected from friends and family. This glacial spirit or this energy is helping you to find your motivation and happiness. Don't feel left out in the cold. Don't feel like they're disconnected. With the Five of Swords, you could be seeing Angel number 555. You're not going to feel left out because that's going to be a hollow victory. You're meant to be successful. Also, getting the retrograde is going to have the opposite effect. Instead of affecting you in a negative way, it's actually going to help you. This gracious spirit or this energy is... It's here. It's coming towards you because there's a man in the water... So I feel like this energy is here to cleanse you of any type of negativity so that you can see the truth about yourself and how you really are an amazing person. And the Queen of Pentacles. You could be doing something financially and you feel like it's going to be a letdown or a disappointment, but it's actually going to be something beautiful. You're giving birth to something good with regards to your finances and it's only the beginning. All of your hard work is going to pay off. The baby represents rebirth, but it's also a change in your financial situation because this is the queen of pentacles you guys have money coming your way guy or girl if there's a new job or a new entrepreneur business whatever you guys are doing because there's a baby it's like you just started it it's brand new like you just started putting energy toward this whatever this is it will give you a lot of stability you will be surprised at how successful you will be with a ten of wands Someone could be trying to stop you. But with the five of wands, again, with another five, 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 five coming through, I really feel like there's a spiritual battle here, right? It's like there's two people, there's these creepy little energies in the background. But even here, this person is being crowned. So you guys are barely starting to realize how strong your spiritual team is to help you and because of that you're going through a transformation where maybe you were like i'm just gonna say like a baby entry level practitioner on your spiritual path and now you have spiritually leveled up these are not bad energies i feel like this is a gracious spirit that is crowning you um metaf metaf my god i heard metaphysically metaphorically speaking with the Six of Pentacles, because you're leaving offerings, you're constantly trying to reach out. Your ancestors are with you. You're not stuck, okay? I feel like this energy is trying to help you get out of some type of negative stuck energy that you were experiencing. As I say that temperance, you guys could have literally been, um, it's like, 444 angel number. I'm getting it. Some of you guys could have been a fallen angel or you have like demon blood for some of you. Very specific. That's not for everybody. 
but it's like this energy is watching you in this lifetime to help you grow to expand i'm also getting kind of like lilith like adam and eve garden of eden is what i'm getting yeah the knight of cups you are loved you guys are giving birth to something new some of you guys could be pregnant i don't really feel that's like for everybody but i do feel like you're giving birth to something new i'm also getting this gracious spirit is guiding you you don't know i feel like this is your energy here and you're not really like sure of what's happening but you're like i feel like i should do this i normally wouldn't do this but i feel like i'm supposed to do it so i'm trusting my spiritual team you guys are doing something and you're questioning it basically but whatever is like it's almost like you guys feel like you're not in control of yourself you are but it's like you feel like something inside of you is pushing you out of your comfort zone and that's perfectly okay because that's your angels your guides are gonna help you have victory here with the three of cups i really do feel when you sleep there is a spiritual energy that is guiding you okay I'm also getting, when you wake up, you have all of these blessings here with the Three of Cups. It's like a victory of some sort. Three weeks, three months for some of you. There's a shift, there's a change. Hang in there, collective, because I feel like there's something really good coming. That's a beautiful blessing from the divine. And as I say that, look, the Ten of Coins, Ten of Pentacles. I feel like this is your energy here. And this hand from this person could be Papa Legba, it could be a spirit guardian, it could be a fallen angel, it could be a Glacia spirit. You have someone here helping you so that you can be successful. It's a very beautiful energy. And look at the Ace of Coins. It's only a matter of time. Eleven oh six could be significant for some of you. The 11 and the 6, if you put them in single digits, that's 1 plus 1 plus 6, which is 8. There's an infinite 8 here. You're given infinite wisdom on your financial stability. Also getting the time is now. The clock has started ticking. You're going to get that blessing. A lot of you guys have a connection in a past life where you were royalty. Or you had some type of royal connection. Or you're just meant to be successful. But in this lifetime... You're going to have that successful financial blessing is what I'm hearing. Don't give up. Don't waste time. If you're guided to do something, do it because you are being guided by a higher power. That's literally what's pushing you out of your comfort zone. And it's going to bring you many blessings. So that's your reading for today. Whenever you watch this, let me know if that resonates. Please like and subscribe. Thank you so much for supporting my channel. I send you many blessings. Bye guys.